Hello everyone, I'm Vikram P. Maduri here and uh, this is a session on SAP ABAP Data Dictionary FAQs Part 2. In the Part 1, I discussed the first 9 question answers and uh, we are going to discuss from the 10th question in this session. So, we'll quickly look at the first uh, 9 questions that we have discussed in the past uh, session. So, if you are looking out for SAP trainings, you can contact us at info at .com. This is our email ID. You can mail us uh, your requirement. We'll get back to you. Okay, till 9, we have discussed in the first session and we are going to discuss from the 10th session, 10th uh, a question answer in this session so what is a data class so when we are creating a database table we'll come across a concept called data class okay data class determines in which table space the table is stored when it is created in the database so this will come into in the technical set technical settings of a database table whenever we are creating a database table in s11 so what is size category just beside be, uh, be, uh, behind the uh, be, below the data class we'll also have something called size category so the size category describes the probable space requirement of the table in the database so probable space requirement is for example if you give it as 0 to 6000 it probably assumes the system probably assumes that you have somewhere around 0 to 6000 records which needs to be spent is uh, which needs to be saved in this particular database table and uh, the system is going to allocate that much memory space for your database stable so what is a view a view is a logical view on one or more tables the data from a view is not actually physically stored in the database instead of that the data will be de derived from one or more tables during runtime that's very important so during runtime it just brings the data from the database tables so we have zero footprint uh, uh, object is view zero footprint in the sense it does not save any data in it just the structure so what are the different types of views and their definitions we have four different types of uh, views basically database view help view projection view maintenance view what are control tables the values specified for the size category and data class are mapped to database specific values via a data, data via control tables so what is a table pool Table pool or uh, pool is used to combine several logical tables in the ABAP dictionary. And the definition of a pool consists of at least two key fields and a long argument field of var data. That's a table, table pool. So what are pool tables? These are logical tables which must be assigned to a table pool when they are defined. So pool tables can be used to store control data such as screen sequences or program parameters etc what is a table cluster a table cluster combines several logical tables in the ABAP dictionary several logical rows from different cluster tables are brought together in a single physical record the records from the cluster tables assigned to a cluster are thus stored in a single common table in the database so it's called cluster table or table cluster so what are the aggregate objects in the data dictionary so aggregate objects are views match code and log objects these are called the aggregate objects in the data dictionary so what are the base tables in an aggregate object the tables make up an aggregate object so primary and secondary are called aggregate objects so what is a match code a match code is a tool to help us to search for data records in the system search for data records in the system so match codes are an efficient and user-friendly search uh, aid where key of a record is unknown so what are the two levels in defining a match code match code object and match code id are the two uh, two two levels of defining a match code what are the two different ways of building a match code object a match code can be built in two different ways logical structure and physical structure so logical structure structure the match code data is set up temporarily at the moment when the match code is accessed so update type i and k a physical structure the match code data is physically stored in a separate table in the database update type will be a or s or p what is locking when two users simultaneously attempt to access the same data record the second attempt is rejected by the system this is synchronized by a 
lock mechanism so basically when you're updating the data into a particular table uh, that that is when the locking applies so what is database utility database utility is the interface between the abab dictionary and the underlying sap system what is foreign key relationship a relationship which can be defined between tables and must be explicitly defined at field level so what exactly we do is whenever we are connecting two tables we we uh, we have to build a foreign key relationship so foreign keys so data entered should be checked against existing data to ensure that there are no contradictions so while defining foreign key relationship cardinality has to be specified so cardinality mentions how many dependent records or how how referenced records are possible so basically we need to whenever we are creating a foreign key relation the mandatory uh, concept would be to have the data element same uh, between two tables for example if you are if you are creating a, a relation between a, a table table a and table b the table a and table b should be having a field which has a common domain so what are indexes in sap tables indexes are described as a copy of a database table reduced to specific fields this data exists in sorted form this sorting form is a uh, fast access to the field of the tables in order that other fields are also read a pointer to the associated record of the actual table are included in the index so the indexes are activated along with the table and are created automatically within the database table so these these are the indexes we basically have will have primary index and secondary index right so what is occurs in internal table so this is basically a internal table question so occurs addition to the declaration will give initial size to the that table occurs statement allocates 8 kb of memory to the internal table so basically this uh, this occurs uh, concept we used to use in the in the in the past uh, when we are doing the creation of database table uh, internal table when we are declaring internal table in the program we used to uh, mention this occurs but right now we are using a structure and then copying the properties into database table into the internal table right so we are not using this concept of occurs zero right now okay what is the difference between a check table and valuable very important question here so a foreign key links two tables t1 and t2 by assigning fields of the table t1 to the primary key field of a table t2 table t2 is then known as a check table of the foreign key so whenever whenever we have a table uh, uh, let's say we for example we have uh, the t1 is basically the employee employee details and the uh, t2 is uh, employee master data then employee master data will be having the key field so we have this link between the two tables and t2 will become the check table so for example if you have a employee basic table and employee salary table so let's assume that t1 is this employee salary table and t2 is a employee basic uh, table so employee all basic details will be then t2 t2 table and in this whenever uh, there is a record to be made in t1 uh, the system first checks whether there is a field in the value for that particular field uh, for that particular value in the t2 then only that uh, record appears so table t2 is then known as the check table of the foreign key so value table sometimes when you define a domain you already know that all fields that use the domain will need to be checked against a particular table so you can store this information in the domain definition by specifying a value table so if you try to define a foreign key for a field that points to this domain the value table of the domain is proposed as a check table or for the foreign key so sometimes when you define a domain you already know that all the fields that use the domain will need to be checked against a particular table so we are going to mention the value table at the domain level so you can store this information in the domain level so what are the two methods of modifying sap standard tables uh, either we can uh, we can modify it or add some fields to the existing standard table using append structures or customizing includes so what are the differences between the cluster table and pool tables so cluster tables t1 
table type in the ABAP dictionary. The data of several cluster tables is stored together in a single table cluster in the database. So a cluster table is thus known as known known only by in the ABAP dictionary, not in the database. So pool tables table type in the ABAP dictionary, and the data of several pool tables are stored together as a table pool in the database. Therefore, a pool table is known in the ABAP dictionary but not in the database. So what are the primary and secondary indexes? This is also a very important question. So a primary index is an index on a set of fields that includes the unique primary key for the field and is guaranteed not to contain duplicates. So also called as clustered index and secondary index. Okay, let me tell you. Let me give an example of employee ID. Employee ID is not repeated for any two people or let's say any two records of a particular table. So if you assume it like that, secondary index is something which can be repeated, which might be repeated. Like for example, there is a column called city, and if you take city as a secondary index, it might be a, it might not be a unique unique field. It might have duplicate records as well, but still we consider it as an index. So then it's called as Secondary index. So secondary index is an index that is not not a primary index and may have duplicates as well. Here we are giving the example of employee name. You can also take the example of a city or country or something like that. So the primary index contains the key fields of the table, and the and the primary index is a uh, is automatically created in the database when the table is activated. If a large table is frequently accessed such that it is not possible to apply primary index sorting, you should create secondary indexes for the table as well. So how many ways you can create a table? So you can create uh, by using the top-down approach or bottom-up approach. Um, in top-down approach, in this approach, first fields are defined and then later domain and determinant are defined, which is not actually uh, suggestible, which I always tell uh, every one of you. So uh, bottom-up approach is the right way of doing the process in which we first create the domains and data elements first and then we'll go ahead and create the database table, which is the correct approach which we have to follow in all the projects. So which database objects object is used for sorting the system variables SYST table is uh, used for uh, you know uh, storing all the system variables. So how many how many types of uh, buffering are there? So there will be three types of bufferings. One is single record buffering, generic buffering and full buffering. So in single record buffering, it buffers only the records based on select query statement. It's, it'll be it will always store the it will always buffer the first field of the uh, in the primary key first primary key will be uh, you know uh, buffered in generic buffering it uh, it buffers all the records which match to the primary key and generic key so what exactly it means is you you have an option in generic key to uh, buffer uh, any all the all the all the prime all the primary keys that you have selected in the top so let's say if you have if you have, if you have four primary keys in your table you can you can uh, do the generic buffering for one one field two fields three fields or maximum up to four fields not more than that because you have only four four primary uh, four primary keys in that case only generic buffering will be possible only for that particular four four uh, uh, you know primary keys so full buffering like uh, this buffering is used for improving the performance so it, if if you are going ahead with the full buffering it will it will buffer all the fields that you have in the table irrespective of whether it is a primary key or a secondary field or a or normal field. So what are the different types of locks? There will be three types, types of locks here. So read lock, write lock and enhanced write lock. So read lock, this is a shared lock, protects read access to an object. The read lock allows other transactions read access, read access but not write access to the locked area of the table. So write lock, exclusive lock, protects write access to an object. The write lock allows other transactions neither read nor write access to the logged area of the table. So enhanced write lock works like a write lock except that the enhanced write lock also predicts from further accessing from the same transaction. And thanks for watching this video. I'm going to continue this uh, uh, FAQs in the next video. In this, we are going to uh, discuss all the other remaining uh, FAQs which are there on the in this concept of data dictionary thank you and do subscribe to our channel